One week after this video went viral showing a black mother and her son being denied service, the Atlas restaurant group still feeling the heat. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Koch. Well, now a state senator is calling for a boycott of the restaurant group. WJZ is live in Harbor East. And Paul Gessler talked to Senator Jill Carter, who described multiple times when she saw a dress code she claims was unfairly implemented. Hey, Paul. Rick, as you mentioned, of course, this comes after that video took off online showing a black mother and her nine year old son being denied a table at Uzo Bay, an Atlas restaurant. Senator Carter says she too saw discrimination firsthand at Atlas restaurant group locations. Managers at Uzo Bay cited a dress code as the reason a black mother and her nine year old son were denied a table last week. Unfortunately, we do have a dress code. Um, if you, you know, if you have some non athletic shorts. But that white kid out there can't be here with his tennis shoes on. This video took off, as did national notoriety for Atlas Restaurant Group. It sparked multiple protests last week. There's a pattern practice of discrimination with Atlas. Senator Jill Carter, herself a longtime patron of Atlas restaurants, called for a boycott of the group, which owns more than a dozen bars and restaurants in Baltimore, mostly in Harbor East. If you do not want to have business from black people in a majority black city, this is not the right city where, where you should profit. Carter says she's seen what she describes as similar discriminatory practices of the group's dress code policies. In a statement to WJZ, the group said in part they wish Carter had shared her experiences at the time, saying the issues would have been addressed. They continued saying it is incredibly unfair and unwarranted to call the organization or its owners racist. Democratic nominee for mayor and council president Brandon Scott urged Atlas to lift its dress code at all its locations. They announced Thursday dress codes at two Harbor East locations, Bygone and Maximone, would be lifted. Carter, meanwhile, wants the incident to spark debate on bringing more diverse businesses to Harbor East. This one company that seems to have almost a monopoly in Harbor East, and how can we maybe uh, eliminate some of that and open it up for black owned businesses, non discriminatory white businesses. Back live in Harbury, Senator Carter requested a the city's Community Relations Commission open an investigation on discrimination in public accommodations. We're live in Harbury tonight. I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.